Niantic Police Chief John Grady. The I-Team tracked his usage of a village police car during the months of January, February, and March. We also looked into his training and the number of official dispatches he handled during calendar year 2018. He's the police chief of the village of Niantic, but we found he likes to spend a lot of time in another city, the city of Decatur. After seeing the car multiple times in the Decatur area, several tips came in asking what agency the unmarked police car with the municipal plates belonged to. So we went into a license plate search tool set up by the Edgar County Watchdogs. We quickly found the 2006 Chevy is registered to the village of Niantic. The taxpayer finance vehicle is assigned to Grady, who works part time. We used the state's Freedom of Information Act to obtain documents from both the village of Niantic and the regional dispatch center. And here is what we found. The Central Illinois Regional Dispatch Center tells WAND News in 2018 they had 174 calls for help in Niantic. Of those calls, the Niantic Police Chief only responded to two calls. The rest of the calls to dispatch were handled by the Macon County Sheriff's Office. During our investigation, we found Grady making regular stops to the Decatur Indoor Sports Center, a sandwich shop on West Wood Street, and to a restaurant on Oakland Avenue, often in the vehicle. We found the taxpayer financed Niantic squad car parked out in front of this eatery on a regular basis during the week, and in this shot on a Saturday in January. We took a camera inside one day to see why he was here with the police car parked outside. We found him on a video gambling machine. We also found Grady using the squad car for personal use to transport a juvenile seen here in this highlighted photo. We did find the chief in Niantic once. On this particular morning, he was parked outside of the local market in Niantic. When he came out about a half hour later, he proceeded to immediately drive to Decatur. The I-Team requested a copy of the village policy on using the police car. The response came back from the village attorney saying there was no written policy in place. After our request of records, a special meeting was held by the Niantic board on March 27th. It was pointed out our inquiry brought to light the squad car was being used off duty. A point one trustee mentioned had been discussed in the past. April 1st, an ordinance was approved stating the village police vehicle cannot leave the village unless it is being used to assist other law enforcement agencies or for scheduled maintenance pre-approved by the mayor. Furthermore, only the mayor, trustees, or individuals being taken into custody can be transported in the police vehicle. We had also requested information on Chief Grady's training. In the minutes of the special March 27th board meeting, a trustee stated the chief was short four hours of training, plus two months behind on gun training. The minutes indicate the chief was suspended until training was complete. We requested an interview with either the chief or the mayor through their attorney. Both declined our request. The village now says he is compliant with his firearms training. The village has requested his full records of compliance training to be included in his personnel file and an ordinance has been passed requiring a copy of all training in the future be provided to the village within 30 days of completion. For the I-Team in Niantic, Doug Wolf, WAND News.